My name is Mike Grusin. I'm one of the engineers here at SparkFun. And um, one of the things I've always been interested in is space. When I really got hooked on it was actually in college. One day I heard that there was a student group working on a sounding rocket project and I thought that's kind of interesting so I started sort of going to those meetings and hanging out with them and ended up being the guy who designed the flight computer for this rocket. Like any other computer it's it's the job of the computer to kind of run everything on the rocket. Things have to turn on and off at certain times. We had a particular science instrument on this rocket that could only turn on when it was like out of the atmosphere in vacuum because if you turned it on in air Air, it would be destroyed basically. The microprocessor was a um, Motorola HC16 and uh, yeah I programmed it in C and assembler and we worked on this thing for two years and eventually followed it out to the NASA base and shot it up into space and it kind of changed my life working on a big project like that. After that I, I was kind of hooked and started definitely hanging out with the aerospace students and eventually went back and got a graduate degree in aerospace engineering. Worked on um, a space shuttle project, worked on a couple satellites, um, some of which flew and some of which didn't. And um, actually at the end of my grad school career uh, I spent three years working on a satellite that's launching maybe in September. It's a very interesting time right now. The government programs are kind of being cut to the bone because of budget, the budget crisis. Um, but at the same time, we're finally getting to the point where commercial space is really taking off. It, it's hard to tell whether this transition is good or bad. It's, it's probably a bit of each. Private industry exists to make profit. And it's, it's kind of hard to make a profit in space at this point. There's so few customers. And so the people doing it right now are kind of the early adopters, the people who can afford to do it kind of at a loss until the industry grows to the point where there is actual money to be made. On the other hand, the job of government is to kind of do the pure science. I mean, they, they go out there for no other reason than to go out there and find out what's going on. So that's important as well. And I really think you kind of need a mix of both of these things in order to, you know, have a healthy exploration and commercial enterprise going on in space. As an engineer, part of what I really enjoy about designing stuff for space is that it's a little bit like being a parent. You have to sort of do your best to kind of take something, figure out what it needs to survive, because space is a harsh environment, and you know you, you do your best you you do the the best craftsmanship that you can when you're building something you learn as much as you can to make sure that you're meeting all the requirements you have to and then you kind of have to send it off and hope for the best um, it's uh it's a little romantic that way it's a little bit like you know putting a message in a bottle and throwing it in the ocean and seeing what happens One, zero. Thank you.